Good evening, everyone. Greetings from EU212 Microprocessors Laboratories. I'm Adil Berkaytemiz. And I'm Bakesh Arius. We are here to present our EE212 Microprocessors term project. Yes, uh, for our project, uh, we made a self-balancing robot uh, which is able to balance itself on its two wheels only. Uh, and in order to self it on its wheels, uh, we, we are calculating its uh, current angle with uh, our gyroscope and accelerometer values. Uh, our IMU uh, gives us accelerometer and gyroscope values and uh, we, are some, we, we make some calculations in order to obtain the current angle of the robot. And after calculating this angle, uh, we use PID technique to uh, calculate the uh, PWM value to be sent to uh, our uh, motor drivers in order to send power to our uh, wheels. Uh, in this PID technique, uh, we are using uh, the we are using proportion, integral, and derivative uh, of the angle, <coughs> and then add them up. Then uh, our PID, PWM value is ready to be sent to the wheels. And uh, our robot also includes a Bluetooth module and two ultrasonic ranging sensors. Uh, the Bluetooth module makes us able to choose between modes uh, that uh, which can which uh, able to, which makes us able to uh, control the robot. Uh, one of these modes are the Bluetooth control that uh, takes values from uh, a uh, mobile application and from an Android phone. And the uh, other uh, mode includes uh, self-driving autonomous mode, uh, which, uh, which uh, enables obstacle evasion system. Uh, and also there is an, another uh, follow me uh, program that follows an obstacle that's around that uh, self-balancing robot. And also uh, in our proposal, we have proposed an uh, Saro motor on top of this self-balancing robot, but after implementing a Saro motor on this robot, we have seen that that doesn't make any sense. Uh, so we just cancelled that. Uh, now, uh, let us show you uh, the, our robot in a bigger space. Now our robot is in manual usage mode. In this mode, uh, robot can be controlled by user via uh, Bluetooth, via uh, phone. In this mode, our robot can uh, go away, come here, or turn or do some other acrobatic things. Uh, and in this mode, uh, we can uh, make our robot cry like that, or ma make it shut up like that. Uh, or we can switch to the uh, menu, uh, autonomous mode. In this mode, uh, as we propose, robot uh, follows us. Uh, and let's, let me show it. Uh, in this mode, uh, now it preserves its uh, distance to me, and if I uh, close my hand to the robot, it starts to cry and uh, escape from me. Uh, and uh, after that, if uh, I pull my hand uh, to myself, it starts to uh, follow me. Here, uh, my friend uh, doesn't touch its phone. Uh, it's, <laughs> yeah, uh, it is done by me. In terms of work done, uh, the whole project is done by together, both of us, uh, in the lab. Uh, but if we need to say uh, exactly, uh, I mainly focused on the balance uh, side of the robot, uh, which consists of uh, communicating with gyroscope and uh, processing its values, uh, and then send it to motor drivers and motor driver implementation. Uh, and my friends, I uh, mainly focused on Bluetooth communication and ultrasonic ranging sensors, and also I implemented the uh, buzzer system that makes us uh, makes us robot cry. Uh, in terms of uh, in terms of our spend on the project, uh, I most we most probably uh, spend fifty or sixty hours on the project. We can say, uh, and the only difference uh, through the proposal is the saddle motor. We have learned a lot of things from this project. Uh, for example, we 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 learned using uh, libraries, uh, which is not uh, included in uh, assembly programming. Uh, they are they enable they enables us uh, to do very good things uh, which we cannot do normally, uh, and and we have learned that uh, community is a very good thing, and also we have enjoyed uh, very much through this project. Uh, thank you for watching our video.